right, everybody, we are very excited to be joined here uh, at the Senior Bowl induction by Philip Rivers. Yes, former NC State standout, NFL standout. Uh, coach now, uh, Philip, it's an honor to have you on, my friend. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I, I want to start, our NC State fans, we talk a lot of college football, would, would, I would be remiss and I would never hear the end of it if I didn't ask you, NC State, a lot of hype this year. Leary at quarterback. What Dave Doran's done there is really, really impressive. One of the most underrated coaching jobs I think that we've seen. How do you feel about the Wolfpack this year? Yeah, good. I tell you, uh, uh, Doran's done a heck of a job. You know, he's kind of we've been through some highs and lows, but the, which is un, unusual this day and age. Yeah. They kind of just rent it out. <laughs> yeah. You know, which yeah. what do you know? Ride yeah. it out and let it go. Let's exactly. give it some time. And then you mentioned, uh, you know, Larry. There's about to be some records going down for uh, sure. You know, there's some records going down there. But um, no, it's it's fun to keep up with them. It, it was really hard for all those years. Obviously, I watched them when I watched them. I yeah. followed them. Yeah. But being in San Diego is just so far away. Now you feel yeah. a little bit closer. Yeah. And uh, so keep an eye on the pack. You know, keep a, keep a little better eye on the pack. But looking forward to them. You know, being in the mix this year. Definitely. And I do got to ask you. You know, again, talking about cerebral quarterbacks and, and mixing the the physical part with the mental part. You know, again, watching you play, the way you dictated, the way you communicated. How important is it to our audience that isn't behind the center or in the shotgun or whatever to to understand how much everything is moving in front of you and how just important the communication is? Yeah, no, it's huge. And I, I think, you know, you see in the quarterbacks this day and age, both college and pro, the ones that can move and do and that can still stand in there and throw it. I mean, obviously, that's the ideal. You, yeah, you, for sure. If you can do both. You're an advantage. Yeah, yeah. You know, it used to be, well, he's a runner. Oh, well, he's a thrower. Now you start to see yeah. guys that can do both. Yeah. You know, the Josh Allens, Mahomes, these guys. And um, so it's changing a little bit, but then it still comes down to you look at Brady and Rodgers. Of course, Rodgers moves better than most, but mm -hmm. you still got to be able to stand in there on third and eight and here comes pressure and be able to deliver on yep. time with in a congested pocket. But you mentioned the communication. I think the thing is, you know, is, you can sit, and now I'm, and now I'm coaching, but yep. a lot of guys yep. can sit and talk it. You know, we can talk it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. You get out there, and it's just like, all right, go. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's moving yeah. fast. It's, different. it's like, way different than it's a It's not like you get to pause it. Yeah. You know, exactly it's right. really good when I can pause it. I can tell you everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't <laughs> think I'd ever throw an incompletion. <laughs> well, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, all, the, all the answers are on the sideline, and that little, that little yeah. like, notebook. That's right. But yeah, that's huge. When it comes to your approach to coaching high school football, you know, I mean, you played the game at the highest level possible. How do you approach coaching up the quarterbacks without things getting too convoluted for them? Yeah, no, that's a good question. You know, my dad was my high school coach, so I've always wanted to coach at the high school level. Mm -hmm. And I tell our guys and I tell our parents, I want to coach the whole young man. You know, yep. I want to coach him. I want him to be the best player he can be. If he has dreams to go, you know, all the way, then good. But I want to coach. I want him to grow spiritually, academically. I want, to, I want him to be better for having been in the program. So yeah. that's what the real passion is for the high school game. But, of course, the X's and O's and the mm -hmm. ins and outs of running the offense is part of it. Mm -hmm. And it's a great part of it. I love that part. Yeah. So I'm learning. I'm still learning mm -hmm. that side of it because I think I've seen it for 20 years now yeah. as a player. Yeah. And here's what I looked at, and here's where I would have thrown it, and here's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but I'm, I'm, I'm understanding that maybe this quarterback hears and sees it a little differently, and then this one and this one of how to best communicate that for them, you know? So, yeah. you know, it was a good first year, but I can grow a lot in that regard because my, my way of viewing it and communicating it yeah. <laughs> might go, hey, I don't yeah. know what you're talking That's about. exactly right. That, you know, that, so I'm learning that. And I, and I can already see I've improved a little bit in the spring, and our quarterbacks have benefited from it a little bit yeah. because I understand them. Yeah. And they understand me better. And I've always thought as the play call, as a quarterback, you better understand why the why the play caller is calling the play. Mm -hmm. Like, why did he call the play? Did he call it because he thought he was going here, mm -hmm. and he thought he was getting this coverage, and he thought – and, and it, it's important. It to know that, because yeah. if not, you're just you know you're well, just throwing yeah, darts yeah. at you know with blindfold on. Yeah, we always say you'll never know how if you don't know why. Right, and, and that's, that's right. the first thing. And, I, and I'm sure you know Philip Rivers out here giving PhD classes. At I love it. I would love to and, learn quarterback, and not just quarterback. I love to hear you talk about you know the uh, coaching these guys up in terms of life too. I mean, you had you were one of those guys that always had such a high level of character when you played the game. What are some things that football really instilled in you when it comes to like punctuality and discipline? Yeah, well, you mentioned it. I think the virtue and the and the character, you know, the traits to succeed in the business world, mm -hmm. as a husband, as a father, mm -hmm. uh, as an athlete. I mean, we can go on and on. They're, they're, they all correlate. Sure. And I think that's why the, you know, the, the game of football was so special to me. But the, you know, the discipline, the toughness, the handling adversity, the selflessness, the, you know, uh, I mean, I can, we can go on and on. For sure. So I think all those things is what makes it great. I yeah. love the in-between the lines and picking, figuring out a blitz and, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. you know, driving to score a game-winning touchdown. Yeah. But 
it's way greater than that sure. yeah, in, the, in the big scheme of things. And I think at the high school level, you really come to realize that because the numbers don't lie. Yeah. And I hope we have guys that go to the biggest schools and go to sure. play in the NFL and all yeah. that. But the numbers tell you the truth. I mean, yeah. you're talking about a .000 whatever percent mm -hmm. that go on to make it big time. Yeah. So this is their last level of football. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's have, so what is that? So then if we're just trying to figure out how to run a blitz or make a tackle, then we're really missing the boat. Yeah, sure. You know, let's have a, let's get better at those things, but let's, and let's learn some football along yeah. the way, but let's be better for having played. That's great. Be a better person. Yeah. Or yeah. 25 for going, you know what? I'm better for being in that program. That's you know? exactly right. Football's a great teacher of life. Oh, it is. So you have, a great college career, a great NFL career. You know, I know that you probably have a lot of memories behind that, but is there a certain memory, you know, when you go back that kind of sticks out more than the rest? That could be high school, that could be on the field, in the locker room. Is there something that kind of sticks out a little bit? Well, I don't know. You know, in high school, playing for my dad was awesome. Yeah. Yep. And so those, there's tons of memories. Obviously, you remember the last game, which we yeah. lost against Gadsden in the quarterfinals. But um, so that one stands out because it was over. It was like mm -hmm. I was his ball boy and his water yeah. boy. And it was like, wait a minute, this is yeah. over? You know, this yeah. is it? That one stands out in high school as a kind of a downer because it was over. But mm -hmm. the experience playing for my dad was awesome. Um, at NC State, there was a lot of really good memories. I think the highlight was my, our junior year. We won 11 games. Um, you know, we, we, we uh, you know, beat Notre Dame in the Gator Bowl, which was a, which was a, which was a highlight. Yeah. I, I'd grown up as a, you know, in North Alabama as a, you know, Catholic Notre Dame fan. You really? know, and, yeah. and, and wow. it's like, man, the chance to get to play Notre Dame. You <laughs> know, it's it my is. granddad's favorite team growing up. And so <laughs> that was awesome in the Gator Bowl, beating them. And then, gosh, the NFL, there's so many. I mean, most recently when we beat the Chiefs in 2018 yeah. on a Thursday night, you know, back shoulder fade to Mike Williams there with, you know, went for two with yeah. five yeah. seconds left. That one stands out. Beating the Colts and, and Peyton Manning in the playoffs at home. You know, I saw Jacob Hester in here. He was, oh, he was a Hester, fullback yeah. on that team. Yeah, uh, we went to overtime and, and Sproles scampers and, and scores. And that was the that was the awesome uh, that was the awesome atmosphere I ever seen as far as at Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego. So there's a lot there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of highlights. But yeah. I think what you what I think about as I tell you those stories is you think about the people. Yeah, yeah. You, I, the people start flashing in all those memories, and that's what makes it. Special, yeah, you yeah. know, you doing that, you know, yeah, y'all enjoy talking to it, but it's like, yeah, you no, know, you enjoy the people you do exactly. it with, and that's what makes it awesome. Mm -hmm. Those high school memories, college pro, there's so many people that were part of the whole journey, mm -hmm. and that makes it. That's what makes it. That's what makes it special. Man, I I, I couldn't agree more. And last question for each out of here, Justin Herbert. Again, a lot a lot of hype. I'm big on him. And Philip, I got the Chargers winning the Super Bowl. This year. Do you really? I, I do. <laughs> well, I think on Justin Herbert, I've said it, I've thrown it out there, and I'm gonna let it ride. No, well, I tell you what, they got that one right, you know. No. And, and I pull like crazy for the Chargers, and I pull for Justin Herbert, yeah. and particularly just because I think it's awesome to say, well, yeah, you know, I, thankfully I was able to be there for 16 years. Hopefully, he can go another 16. Mm -hmm. I've always thought it was cool. You look at the Packers, you know, yeah. and it's like. Yeah, yeah, who's played quarterback there the last 40 years? Uh, <laughs> and Marvin Rodgers. Yeah. 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 yeah, you're doing yeah. it right. Yeah. 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 yeah, you're doing it right. Yeah, they get it. Yeah. So you like you don't want it to go the Browns version, you know? It's like yeah. Yeah. I can name 30 starters in the yeah. last 25 That's years. That's exactly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm – Herbert, Herbert, you know, again, it was time for me to be done there, and then they nailed that pick. So I'm pulling for him, and I have a lot of – I don't have as many former teammates that are still there. You know, gosh, you just – it's amazing the turnover. Yeah, it's but nuts. The Keenan Allen's there. Eckler's there. You know, Derwin James, there's still a handful of guys that I played with, so you, yeah. it makes you want to pull for those guys. Um, and, yeah, so we'll see. That's a, that's, that's a bold pick, Look, but we'll see. I, they definitely going to have a shot. Fortune favors the bold. I'm, I'm going with it. I'm not going with chalk, but, Philip, thank you so much, my Enjoy. friend. Congratulations yeah. on all the success, it. and good luck in your coaching career. Yeah. Hey, hit him good tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, we'll see about that. You'll hit him better than me, I promise you that. <laughs> All right, hey, if you like what you heard, go ahead and ring that bell. Turn those notifications on. We're bringing it every day daily from 2 to 3 Central, and we want you here. I can hear it ringing now.